Hello, and welcome back to Generative AI with Wolf Dynamics. So in this new video, we're going to talk about a new uh, user, user interface in, in town. Okay, so this is what you see here. It's not Automatic 1111. It looks very, very similar, but this is Forge. It's difficult to say what it is, but I will call it, it is a, a fork of automatic 1111 focusing optimization of the performance and some other stuff but so far i think uh they do big improvement over automatic 1111 and we're going to talk about this installation and i'm going to show you a little bit how to move in in, in this interface which is pretty much as automatic 1111 so it shouldn't be a problem for you so let me go close here a little bit and uh, let me talk about here you have the link okay where you can find Wait, ui forge so it's developed by the same developer of Focus, which is wonderful. I love Focus. Okay, and this Forge is based in Automatic 1111. So this is the quintessential you now user interface that we know and we love, and I hope we're familiar. But it have a, some performance problems that I've been addressed here. I guess the developer here, Elias, he 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 also I think he's related somehow to Automatic 1111. I don't know. And also we have Comfy UI. Okay, so these are the interface that I use. And in this video, also going to do a brief comparison. Okay, just to show you the performance and why we're gaining with this interface. I want to point out also that you have a stability matrix, which is another nice. It's not a user interface. It is kind of an application where you can put everything together. Okay, this one developed by Lycos AI, also well-known name here. And you can install this one and install all these in user interface and you can centralize you now how to how to uh, manage everything. And still, they don't they haven't had support to Forge. I don't see it here, but uh, eventually I think they will have it. So this is very interesting. It's up to you. But for me, I just work with Focus Automatic 1111 and Comfy UI. I use Focus to generate images out of the box. It is fantastic. We're going to see then automatic 1111. I use it to get more control, you know, this control net stuff and some other functions, but I don't have access to all the latest develop developments in stable diffusion and stuff like turbo models, LCN. It's difficult to get it working, but also it tends to be a little bit slow sometimes. And that thing, all those issues I can overcome or focus or with Comfy UI, which is also fantastic. But a lot of people might not like because you have this a little bit spaghetti interface, so you need to get used. But now with uh, Wet UI Forge, I, is, I think you need any of this. Still, I will use it because I have very specific uh, workflow. But now this one has the same performance as Comfy UI as I'm going to show you. And let me show you, okay, something here that you keep reading. It's still, you will realize that this is relative new. The web page is still not, they don't have much information. It's quite sure, but eventually I think uh, they're going to add more information. Remember when you enter here, you have issues and discussions, so you can look for the information. But Pay attention to this. Okay, so but what they promise is this one that now you get is you're using GPUs with AGX. This is my case. I have a 4060 NVIDIA on a laptop. You can get a speed of about 30 to 45%. I can say even higher. And this is true. I'm going to show you this blew my mind. And this is why now automat this is way much faster than automatic 1111 at the same level of comfy ui and even faster then also with six uh jigs bits of run even more impressive and also can run with gpu 4 gigs i don't have access to one of those but they claim that then also with larger memory it's not that much but you get something but what they write here they deliver it works and I'm going to show you, but also they add something new here, which is 
new sampler. So I was talking about the LCN turbo models and so on. So probably you know that if you were using those, I showed some some videos about Config UI and you need to have a specific nose and so on, which is missing an automatic 11.11 or in automatic 11.11 you need to install another extension and maybe that sampler is hidden there. Now you have native support, okay, for those samplers plus main additional things so with control net also uh they have uh, a native no it's installed by default so so and they have many things there that you can read i'm not going into details i'm going to focus in the base but i guess i need to do more videos about that this and i have to mention that i was working until last week until this was released actually i realized about this on this week last weekend i was working in a series of videos with automatic 11 11 to show everything i already have shown about counter net but now with this one i threw away all those videos because i need to redo everything with this one because since now are becoming way more efficient you now optimized from the computational point of view so uh, i guess i need to work on all that so and let me show you first as usual, I like to show you the installation, okay? But before showing that, let me work here in a benchmark that I have here, I was working and just to show you the numbers and you can know what we're doing. So basically I conduct this study automatic 11.11, the force interface, so the fork of this one, Comfy UI and focus. So basically working exactly same prompt, positive, negative prompt, same checkpoint, so XL, all you have here, all these uh, generation parameters, so you can reproduce this this case. And here we have the timings. Okay, so this is the issue with automatic 11. We have the timings. Something interesting, probably you have realized that the first time you shed, you select a checkpoint tends to be slow, and you can see it here. Also, force tends to be slow. Same for comfy UI and focus tends to be a little bit uh, insensitive to that. But you see, so there is. Also, there is something that is slowing down. <coughs> okay, but by looking just at the timing, immediately you realize the slowest one, automatic 11.11, we're going to see, but now is forged 16 seconds, okay? Exactly the same generation, which is faster than Comfy UI and faster than Focus. I have to also clarify something that Focus is very automatic. So I, I have to control things manually, but we're in the same uh, parameters, okay? But way much faster and very important, Automatic 11, 11, 11, and Forge will give you consistent images, very similar. They claim that they are the same, but in this case, I don't get exactly 100%, but pretty much they are similar. So see here that you have this stuff here, some differences, but small details. But I like this one because I can do, you know, very good uh, uh, comparison. Instead, Comfy UI, Focus, they are different. However, if you look at Comfy UI and Focus, they tend to be more similar, okay? So this is part of the implementation. So these two, for the same parameters, tends to be more similar. Instead, this one gives you consistent images. But the main thing I want here, timing, fantastic timing. Now I'm super happy with Automatic 11.11 or with this fork. I really like this one, but for me, I was suffering to when I needed to do some stuff and grids and a lot of uh, uh, images, this is was painfully slow. Now, very happy. Then uh, we're going to, to show you this one to reproduce and so on. So I, I have nothing to add now, just the timing and you can see the results. But also I would show you something about focus to compare because with focus, you can control automatically you no know, focus what i love about focus this is for a total total beginner so you go and just type something and you get high quality images so here you you can control by quality speed or extreme speed so if you put quality focus by default or at least in this case we'll do 60 steps this speed 30 step and then extreme speeds speed uh eight step and here you have the timing so you can compare with this one here but it's still focus you no know, kind of in the 20 steps that we're doing here, by the way, so we're similar here. But then what really called my attention, we're always using the juggernaut uh, checkpoint, no refiner, no loader, so disable everything. That really catch my eye here that 
in a string speed, it managed to get good result with a eight steps. So this is telling you that focus is doing not some magic behind controlling some parameters, but this is impressive and, and this is very good timing, you know, because here you are getting quality, you know, 1024 you no know, square. And this is fantastic. And then focus controlling manually. You get this timing, which is in line with the previous timing. By the way, here I'm not using any styles. Okay, I disable the style, I style some other stuff. There is a lot to talk about prompts and styles I already mentioned. So all the stuff that I'm doing, there are no no styles besides this keyword masterpiece, but that's all. Instead, in focus here, I I I left the uh, the default style, so focus has some predefined styles. So this is what you get. Okay, so. We're going to work in this. We're going to show you this case. And let's, let me close there. And at this point, let's work in the installation. Okay, so you need to come to the website here and just follow the instruction like the other cases. The installation is super easy. I'm going to show you the installation, the one-click installation, the one that you then load this file. Just click here. Then load this file. It's a big file. Remember, there are <clears throat> there are a lot of documents inside. Okay, so then load it and then put it whatever you want to work. So in my case, I already downloaded that file. Let me go here. I have it here, and let's do things together real time. Okay, so I have the file. It is in this format, seven zip. So if you are using Windows eleven, I think. It will extract it automatically so you go here extract all and let me extract it here okay so just to show you that we're not going to have any problems then if you you don't have well, the option to extract that document you can download this application seven seven seed is a free one and that's all you distract it so let's extract the file let's do everything uh together and while we're getting this that's why you until we get the full file the full docker hi there so we have the complete uh, directory here we extracted everything with no problems so at this point uh you should always you now follow the instructions here. You have the steps. So after you extract everything and compress, it will tell you update, and then you can run the the bad script and will do everything automatically. So first here you have the update. It will do some automatic update. So always at the beginning it will ask you this blue screen. Click there more info. Run anyway. So this is up to you. you know if you really trust in the developer, you do it. Otherwise, well check but well i'm doing that i trust in the developers and there you go in my case is doing this dates so that's all and now we can run so very interesting here so as you recall the installation with automatic 11 11 and actually that one is a little bit problematic in the sense now that that is great you have to be very careful and let me go here it will point out to this file there no and then you have this wet user bad and there you need to add options there okay so according to your video card so i play a lot with those options so i managed to optimize my automatic 11 11 playing with those options but honestly i waste a lot of time doing that instead here you need to do that okay so basically the run will call that script i'm not going to click there i want to show you that you have that wet ui here as well and here you have the same actions okay so in this case uh and let me go here right here you're going to have the dot the the comments and everything okay there is a lot of information but this means that it is commented okay everything there it is commented so very important you can point out at your previous installation of uh, automatic 11 11 for checkpoints so i would show you how to do that and also all your other libraries so you need to download everything 
or you can use also symbolic link links so you have this this explanation and so on and the auctions here but what is important you don't need to add anything everything is done automatically by the library uh, by, by, <clears throat> by force even you need to add x formers okay and actually i don't recommend you because it, it can break down your installation so avoid that okay if you want you can test it but you will need to reinstall but in any case you have the comments there so if you want to use your previous installation here i will leave it like this but i will show you the uh, my bad script that I already modified here you need to do like this you point out to the location where you have uh, install automatic 11 11 and then automatically from there is going to find all your checkpoints and so on very important when you give the path you need to use forward slash so is you're working in windows and assuming that we're windows user and linux user also but most of the people doing this generative ai are in windows so assuming that you're a windows user windows usually use backward slash Okay, so you just copy that path, but you need to change it for forward. Otherwise, you're not going to find it. And I guess also I need to address that Linux installation, but I assume that a Linux user knows how to install Python, Git, or you already have that. So probably don't need it. Let me think about that. Okay, so this is more for the newcomer, the beginner, that when you install this, and very important, uh, everything is already contained. It. You can install Python and so on, but you have, up for the previous cases, you have to be very careful because you need to use exactly the same version of Python. So right here, but I don't recommend you to, to do the manual installation, go for the automatic. So now that we have everything, I just showed you this stuff there. Uh, and I would put in the comments, the data stuff, and I'm not going to uh, modify anything. You click run and it's going to launch uh, web UI. And here, I always recommend you to, to, to look at this terminal window because you have a lot of messages. So the first time that you're going to open, it might take a while because it's going to download some files, maybe it's going to update some stuff. So let's wait while well, that load everything uh, as we don't have checkpoints and while it's doing that to show you also that the uh, directory structure is the same as as, as for automatic 1111 11. so you go here uh, actually already open so that was quite fast but also I think it will start to then load oh I think I, I launched my personal version let's see okay look at that here when running is is optimizing everything see that don't pay attention to this x formats my gpu car and i have everything okay let me close here because i launched by mistake i launched my personal version that i have everything there so uh, i go here this is the one i need to launch and okay i say message you will believe you trust in that so i think it will ask you just once for that and talking about here the directory structure so as you go it's pretty much the same as the previous one so you have same directories here you have extensions that you are installing and all the models you put it here okay i'm not going into details it's like previous one organized in the same way it comes already with with python and git so you need to install anything so it's up to you but uh, just install that so you install now the default one so you avoid problems so maximize here and always pay attention to the messages here so let's wait while everything is done but here it will detect that we don't have any checkpoint and then it will download a default checkpoint which is real vision i think so as you go here see that we don't have anything so it will download one and will download some files and Control net is already integrated. There are many things integrated. So now that we're going to use and I'm going to show you a little bit uh, in a brief what you have there, but let's wait a little bit. Okay, so we have here the window 
Okay, we have our Forge, which is pretty much very similar to Automatic 11. 11. Let me minimize this and come back here. So look at that. Everything that is happening, you, you see here on the screen. So don't pay attention to this formula as I mentioned. You need that, but read the documentation. They have the explanation there. You need to add anything. It will automatically detect the best parameters, and you're going to see that. See that also it then load here. Uh, a checkpoint okay so he's downloading this uh checkpoint realistic vision so always you need to know what you have as a checkpoint so i already know that realistic vision is based in sd 1.5 so you know your resolution and so on so be careful about that but we're going to see a little bit that um yeah off we go here we're running and let me move this one to a new wind and there i have it there in a single wind and this is your interface i'm not going into details because probably you're we already you result uh, automatic 11 11 you know what is happening the main difference that you're going to see first the tabs here that you see these two are new so this is a stable diffusion videos you want to do videos they they integrate it and this is to create text to 3d there is also a lot of about this one so i'm not going to talk about this because this is honestly this is already this is beta and there's a lot of developers that developers being done there and actually the video in the stable diffusion has thing right now pretty much everything everything is garbage with the release of soda by open ai oh you, you saw something about that crazy but in any case uh, another difference here is that you have all these extensions installed by default. So it's recall automatic 11, 11. You have control net that you need to add it here. You have everything by, by default. Uh, again, the models are not installed. So as you enter here, likely the preprocessors, you know, annotators, this stuff are already installed, but the models you need to download everything. So like we did for automatic 11, 11, pretty much the same. Different here that everything, all the models in uh, control net, you go here in models and you put in control net, okay? So here you have your preprocessors. In previous in automatic 11, 11, you have extensions and here you have the folder and you can put it there. So now everything is centralized in models. You can also point to the models in uh, automatic 11, 11 without problems and all that stuff is done here in extension. So this works exactly the same as uh, automatic 11, 11, you load, you have all your extensions there, you can install, then settings uh, here, you, you can adjust some settings. So probably if you want to point to automatic 11, to control net, see here, you have control net and you can say, where do you have the path and it can look for those models in my case i like uh, i move it okay but it's up to you i unlock it i have plenty of space so but it's up to you and feel, feel free to play with this all these auctions probably also you will realize that in the standard automatic 11 11 you don't see these auctions here so this is something that you can add or, pro or probably it's here because well i don't recall probably if if you don't see it you can add there or you can add that if you go that should be something user interface here okay and see that you have it here so if you want to see that in automatic 11 11 just look for that here so there is a lot of stuff so you can add it there and usually this is important usually I put it to two many models are trained with this clip skip to two so you can put it there and that's all at this point uh, this is a brief explanation, nothing else to add because it's an automatic 11.11. You have the new uh, samplers there and the rest pretty much is the same. So at this point, let's work with a, with a simple image generation using the default model realistic vision. Let me, let's be a little bit creative here. So let's say that I want to, let me see what do I do. Uh, okay, let me do... Uh, Anthro, uh, okay, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic chicken reading a book in a ba, 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 in a cafe. Okay, so let me be a little bit creative here. So look at that. We're using this model. This is my default installation. Realistic vision. Always remember. Look. You need to know what you are using. So you have the best marketplace here. So realistic 
vision and here you can see there you go so this is realistic vision immediately is the 1.5 you will see that you have some uh guidelines there how to use the model and so on so on so actually this model use a few okay in particular well this is the uh uh default okay let's see five you have him paid so i'm for using this one and let's see okay it works with a cfg scale of seven steps uh steps i don't see click skip here the one i mentioned one to two the noise uh, scale and i don't see the steps uh, steps uh, user recommend okay but usually it should be okay control f the steps okay well they don't mention anything but usually it's 15 20 steps so we have there the guidelines and let's say that i want to generate my image 512 512 likely these models are always trained using that and there you go you have the image and look at the generation time 5.2 an hour at this point and invite you I'm going to do it with another image, but I invite you to do the same stuff, get the same you no know, seat number, you can get it here, okay? And generate it using automatic 11 and 11, and you will see that will be twice, you no, know, the time it will take. So at this point, this is extremely affordable, 5.2 seconds, you, you, you can do a lot of stuff. Have in mind that this chance with the image resolution, Okay, so if you increase it, let me put here a thousand twenty-four. So I recommend you to install this tension aspect ratio to make your life easier, but it doesn't matter. So look at that, I double and likely my image generation time will increase and not necessarily will get something good because this model wasn't trained in this aspect ratio. So seems to be okay, but I already start to see when you start to see duplicates and stuff like that. This means that it's not the best format, okay, for your image. And look at the time, 18.8, similar to this benchmarking we we have done here. So let me go and do, for instance, uh, usually 512 and 1024. So this is for portraits, probably can be a good format. Let me go 750 height. So usually all our advice you are doing portraits, so usually this format works very well. 5.4 and fantastic, very good quality. Look at the band, actually I'm quite surprised that you have the five fingers and you have anything strange. So this is how it works. Now, for instance, let me fix this. You go there and you have it. And let's reduce this one. Let's half this one. Okay, so it's not like it is too, too slow, but let's see what happened with 10 should be twice as fast, but look at that, you lose a lot of quality. So this is a, a, a compromise. So it would be up to you, you know, to choose the parameter, but that's why, you know, usually 20 is the ideal one. 15, let's see, probably will gain a second, half a second, yeah, a second, and I get something similar to the one with, with 20, okay? so. This is, believe me, if you start to, to do the same with automatic 1111, this stuff will be like 20 seconds. And thanks to this, this now lets me do something that for me was too slow, too time consuming, but generating all these grips, now I can do many experiments. So just to show you one here. So basically you can create grips and you can choose parameters, many parameters. Um, no, 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 let me work in this one. Okay, so in this case, I'm using all the samplers, different steps, and to show you know, the difference, steps and samplers. So this is a very particular model that use a few steps. These are the turbo models. So this is to see which one is the best combination and which one is the best sampler. So there are some samplers they don't work. I'm talking about this specific sampler for turbo models that they all work, give you good results. So here you can do a lot of tests. So this is where now since are way much affordable. Previously to do some stuff like this, it took like more than one hour. It was really, really slow. So in this case, I have 
uh, X, this is an XL model and using the Euler and the Pink Cross model. And here I was playing with the CFG scales to see what happens. So this is Darth Vader riding a bike in Paris. So basically, no, the same case that I show you, but, and there you go. So this is extremely affordable. You know, we're talking about 15, 16 seconds. So now you can play like this. So this is what you gain. This is what you get. Okay, at this point, I invite you to play with the different options. And I would like to go into a little bit more advanced cases and show you different models. I will open, I will close this one. I will open a new, uh, my personal version. Before doing that, always pay attention to your terminal here because sometimes when you use for the first time one auction, it might be slow, but it will be slow basically because it will download a new library. So in this case, I didn't do anything okay that required that but have that in mind that sometimes you will use some some new auction and it will download that file okay so all this stuff is you use a control net for instance and a, a specific preprocessor maybe it will take some time to to download it so be careful about that but for the rest pretty much uh nothing changed so let me show you a little bit more advanced stuff using my own my, my personal version so Let's move to the to the next case. Okay, so now I just launched my personal version. I want to show you something that in my personal versions, you go now in this directory models, you have everything and I have many models, okay? I have a lot of stuff and see that I don't need to, to reinstall that. In Forge, you can point that using the, the, the bat file. I just have in my mind, in our recent installation, only that one, that's all. So remember, you can do like that, or you can use also virtual links. It's up to you, okay? Uh, the same with control it and all that. It's also to mention something that pretty much as an automatic 11.11, all your outputs will be safe here in the output file. So you will have the same structure, emails, directories, and so on. So at this point, let's work here. And I have many, many, many checkpoints. So I'm testing a lot of stuff, looking the best one. It's not like you need all that stuff. And remember, those checkpoints are can be heavy. So I wanted to show you one of the reasons why this is also fantastic. So first, let's do the uh, with using uh, Excel, a full XL model. So let me use the jogger now here. And this one is a 1024. So here I already have this extension for the aspect ratio, so it can be very handy. So let me use this one, click speed, what else? Let me use, I really like the Euler Ancestral model, but it's up to you. Now you can do your benchmarking. And let's do something like the Mandalorian. And and you might think that I'm going to put Baby Yoda there, but no, I'm going to put, I'm a big fan of Kermit the Frog, the Mandalorian and Kermit the Frog. Frog. Let's see what happens here. So what I want to tell you is that usually, as I mentioned, the first time that you generate, it tends to be a slow because it's loading in memory, it's doing some, some stuff there, but then, to do the benchmarking like I did, is that you need to do two or three generations until everything is in memory so you can do a proper benchmark. But in this case, case doing everything and 23 seconds, okay? I didn't get the, the Mandalorian, but let's do another generation. And you're going to see that the second generation will be faster, the third product faster, and after the third one, since it stabilized about some, some value. Uh, maybe also since might be a little bit slow because I am recording, but things are better because the memory match management is much better with Forge. So, so far in some benchmark I have done, I don't see that time reduction, but yeah, maybe some 22 seconds. Okay, and let me do another one and let's see so probably we're seeing a, a five second problem uh addition in generation time just because i am i'm recording and 
there you go and in this case 22 seconds but what is interesting and let me show you later when we move to automatic 11 11 you are going to see that uh is that Look at that, you have the generation. Probably you realize that in automatic 11.11 when you arrive here to 90%, 95%, it got stalled sometimes 10, 20, 20 seconds here. There you go. A little bit, but now instead previously, yeah, it, it stayed there a long time. Let me increase this one to eight to see if we get something better because Okay, I miss a spell there, that's why the Mandalorian and Kermit the Frog. Okay, so let me generate this one, let's see what happens. Uh, well, to mention these timings that I have here, I wasn't recording, okay, so likely those 5 seconds, 4 seconds are due to the recording software that kind of slows down since. Okay, so now let me generate another one, but basically this is this this is extremely affordable and then you it would blow your mind turbo okay turbo vision already saw that in comfy okay fantastic and this is what i was looking so this is really really nice result so i have mandalorian and kermit the frog really really nice and happy with that result and let's let me take this one look at the time there let me take also the generation number this one because we're going to reproduce this one with automatic 11 11 we have 1024 what else 20 and 8 so let's remember that 20 and here we have 8 euler act so let me also that something i like about hit this one that even if you have the same parameters and you click there it will generate again the image instead if you use comfy ui it's not going to generate the image. I wouldn't assume that it's the same image, so you need to change something and then go back. Here it will let you. So be careful about that. It can be handy, but also be careful about that. As you keep clicking, it will generate the same stuff. So 20.25.1, 20 and now after 23.2. So see that it tends to change. But this is a nice image. Let me save this image in downloads maybe i'm going to use it later i don't know so we have something there fantastic we're happy uh to mention also be very careful about the aspect right you know so it's like, now go here 512 likely the image is not going to be a very good image and basically just because you are using the wrong aspect right so say that it's going to generate something but might be might not be so good sometimes it will add illustrations there so always read not know what param what model you are using to get the best parameters for portraits also i recommend to use the aspect ratio for three and so on okay so let me close here and now let's do the comparison with automatic 11 11. okay so we're back now we're automatic 11 11 yes it is exactly the same as force or force is the same okay it's the same interface nothing changed just a few options here and here and the performance as you're going to to see so pretty much also it might be different from what you have is you have it because they have many extensions and so on but the rest pretty much the same so we have the mandalorian Kermit the frog if i will recall yes we were using this one actually it was the, the last one there so we have let me say b8 then this was the seat number important for reproducibility uh thousand twenty four here i should have this one here as well this was eight and euler ancestor and that's it so one of the things that you are not going to find anymore using the uh force is that sometimes and probably you have seen that that you go and change models from one to the other and sometimes for whatever reason you get here garbage in force you are not, not going to see that problem anymore here happens very often so i don't like to start change but i have seen that problem a lot so let me stay with this one here and i think we're ready to run so remember the first time usually takes some time loading in this case it already has been load at the starting so it should be faster we have it there but pay attention here at the bar okay 
Also, you can later at your own compare the number of iteration per seconds or seconds per iteration, uh, how it's measured, but, but it's way much faster. Look at that here, it will get stalled. And this was driving me crazy because here it can stay like 10, 15 seconds. In the best cases, five seconds that I, according to, to, to the model, the checkpoint, I managed to control that, but it still is it's a long time. But here you start to see that this is tough. Why is taking so long there? And this, this specific problem has been addressed with, uh, with the four forge, wet UI forge version. And there, look at that, not doing anything. It's not due to the recorder or anything. It's just stuck there. So yeah, if you use lower resolution, you tend to, so usually with stable diffusion no models, 1.5, 512, this is not that much, it can be three seconds, four seconds, but XL version, all models, it is it is incredibly slow. And there you go. So after, I don't know, a long time, and as I mentioned, this is consistency. We, we obtain pretty much the same image, so that's why I saved it previously. So let me save that image again. And look at that, one minute, 23 seconds. So yeah, one minute, Plus seconds, okay. Previously, then remember, my advice always generate a second source image just to, to do the proper benchmarking. Now, in the second, well, actually, this is the third generation, 45 seconds. I want to remind you that as I'm recording, probably have some extra overhead, but the overhead you are going to reduce it all also in the force interface. So it's always faster. But look at that now 45 seconds, twice what we were generating now is with Forge. So yeah, what the developer promised 30, 40, 50%, you have it here. I have seen even, even better improvements. So it really, from this point of view of the optimization of computational time, but also memory management, it is way much better Forge. Big question, will I do the whole transition from automatic 11.11 to Forge? My answer is no, I will not do it because I need to do the whole benchmark and I have to be sure that everything works. And so far, I know that it will force the essences that they're not working so well. I still, I have problems, but for as far as it goes to generating images, I will use always force control net. I, I have some problems, but eventually I think no force will evolve and it will get the same not in the overall interface to the same no same, same level as in auto, automatic 11 11 that were here so yeah here you have your generation time let me again save this one just let, let's have these reference images and now let's compare the time so uh let's say that we have this it, this is quite cool image i really like this one so we have Kermit the frog and Actually, let's say coming from we have the actual generation uh, generate all okay. So let me generate again to be sure that we have this consistent time that it will be something about forty five seconds. Okay. And this is the problem. See that here automatic 11, 11 for some reason remains there stuck. I don't know why. I don't know why I managed. You now there's sometimes I mentioned that changing some options now that you have in the screen and also some options in memory management in windows, but it's not like me. I make no uh, a big change. So it there 44 seconds. So let's move from this. Okay. Let me close here and now let's go to focus and let's revisit focus and let's do now a proper comparison there. So let me launch focus and let's reproduce this result. Okay, so we are now in focus. I have to say that I love focus. Remember, it's developed by the same developer of, uh, of Forge. Okay, so you may have many things in common when it comes now to the optimization, but it, it is fantastic focus. This is my option for one-click image generation. If I don't want 
to, to think about what is happening just go here and you put it there and it's going to generate good images at the first try so let me do this one and then we optimize something but by the way i forgot the resolutions this one was 1024 1024 <laughs> okay so we have our results here so one thing that you realize that is pretty much is automatic nothing to do fantastic result much better than the previous one and this is the magic of focus uh so it's very automatic as you look here you will see the overall generation time so it's about 42 let's say 42 per iteration but probably when it was iterating you realize that it was doing 30 iterations so everything is, is controlled automatically <coughs> it's controlled automatically by, by focus but you can uh control that so to show you let me go as you click here advance here you have many more options so see that you have a speed quality extreme speed so a speed user will do 30 iterations 60 iterations and this will be eight iterations this is fantastic i don't know how they do it how they control the model because they don't use any turbo model exactly the same model and, and they manage to do it so let's do something let's say here Okay, let's do 1024, 1024. I want to do one image. Let's try to reproduce this. And we're not going to get exactly the same. We have seen now for whatever reason. Uh, I, I didn't put any negative prompt and styles. And this is what I love about focus also that you have many styles predefined. So by default, it will use this styles. This is really cool. You have the tool tip now and you hover over the style and you get there a reference. Super, super cool. And it's up to choose. So usually these three by focus are fantastic, but then it's up to you. So feel free to play with that. Here you can choose your model while using, okay, the juggernaut, let me disable this one. I don't want to put that there. So we are no refiner, no loader to be as close as possible. So let's generate one image is still it is for a speed okay so it will be it will do uh it will do 30 iterations so let's see what happens how long does it take so your 30 iterations look at the number of iteration per second so the larger this the better so as you have a very good uh gpu you will see there i have seen value for five and six crazy yeah Okay, so this is what we have so far. It looks super cool, nice. <clears throat> and there you go, we're almost done and 44 seconds to generate this. And yeah, very nice result. <coughs> <clears throat> So now let's try to get closer. So, so you go here into advanced actions, enable developers. You have some comments, so pay attention to, to the comments there. So I want to use Euler Ancestral. Then this one, it will be 20, not the number of sampling steps. And then the CFG, because this one is kind of an adaptive CFG. I was using eight previously and read the comments that it will tell you that this one needs to be larger. So let me put 14 there and this should do the trick. Okay. To get the 20 steps, uh, bam, 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 nose. Okay. Generate. And let's see what we have there. So let's see if we get, yeah, the 20 step. That's okay. Um, there you go. So we are going to try to be as close as possible now when it comes to your positive prompt. We're not using negative and then the generation parameters. But as I mentioned, no, the beauty about focus is that it does a lot of stuff automatically. So if for you, that is not a problem. Use focus. Go ahead. So that is my workflow. I need one tiny images. Focus. I always use focus and I'm super happy most of the time. But then maybe I want to change something 
I moved to Automatic 11.11 and did a lot of videos there on, on, on in painting, which I have to say that in painting here, I think it's better than Automatic 11.11. Depends, no? What level of in painting you want. And then Control Net, yeah, I do it in uh, Automatic 11.11. I need to test it into Forge, okay? Be careful. I still not going to do the transition because some things don't work. And then Confui for me for experimental auctions or to do aux scaling. Aux scaling honestly is fantastic there. You can control that very well, but it's not easy. But this image, okay, let's finish here. We have the image. How long did it take? So 29 seconds, okay. So if we look at here now, mm -mm -mm. so uh, I forgot, okay. This sampler 20, 29, yes, it took 45. It was a 11, 11. Focus kind of the similar parameters, 29 seconds. Remember, I recommend you to do one or two times just to see if nothing is happening in memory. And yeah, so let me go and put this one was four because I want to do a final test. This one was, uh, so is the, da, 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 da. this one was minus one. Okay. And let me go extreme is fit there. So this is crazy. This is always do a look at the outputs and some debugging because they yeah, clearly they're doing some adaptive steps and so on and stuff, but in eight steps, this is crazy. Using the same, it's not a turbo model that later I'm going to show you that you get this, that's, this, this is remarkable good result. And here you apply one or two of scalers and this is fantastic. Okay, so we have that and that was generated in 17 seconds. Okay, so we close here. Okay, that was focus and now let's move Exactly saying, okay, so let me put 17 extreme speed. And then, yeah, we move to Confi UI and try to do the same stuff. Okay, so now we're in Confi UI. So let's try to do the same setup. Let's use the same checkpoint. Here I have my Positive prone there, bam, 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 put it there. No negative prone, the image, 1024, 1024. Here, Euler Ancestra, bam, 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 turn up the domains, and let's try to use. So according to my experience, uh, Confi UI will try to be closer, will be closer to to focus um, bam, bam, bam. save. I don't want to save the image. I just want the preview, erase this one, remove, and da, da, da. there you are. I've made a mistake. This has to be fixed. So as for automatic 11, 11 and the others, always the first generation takes some time. You know, it will load the model. So always discard that first generation when it comes now to timing the image generation. As I mentioned, this will add some overhead. So my advice now, if you are into production, disable this stuff. This is here in the in the manager here. You have preview method, disable that stuff. Also the same somewhere in automatic 11, 11 and focus, you find your suction. But yeah, my advice disable that for production. Okay, so we're having the preview generate there. There you go. So that took 57 seconds. That was some time. Now I fixed my time, 20. And let's generate this one. Okay. What happened? Okay, so these are the issues. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is the annoying part. So recall I mentioned in 
I probably didn't mention that in automatic 11.11 and also in force, you can regenerate the same image instead here can be a little bit annoying that you need to change something to generate again the image. So let's... Okay, so bam, 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 two to seven. So we have it there. Let's see the timing. So the recording also have a, an overhead, which also I measured and I found that it's less. The overhead is less in when I use a uh, forge. So thirty-seven, and let me change now, and let me go now and generate. So now it says that things are getting 37. It was, I think it was a little bit high, that's 37. Okay, so now generating here. So in any case, the numbers that I'm getting here, they're a little bit biased, remember, Trusting these more numbers that they are unbiased, and I did it for many cases. Huh? Not only this one, different combination during day, during night, during summer, winter, water, and it was consistent that always forge was faster and yeah, as high as sixty percent or so. Also, also on some improvement. So thirty six seconds. So yeah, this one in this case. It is slower, so we have it there. As I mentioned, that this one is it, super cool. I mentioned for for upscaling, I like to use it because you have a lot of control how you connect and you can put many boxes. But to generate the day to day image, honestly, unless you have a very particular no already fixed workflow, I don't like to use it. Okay, just for that uh, advanced options. And now finally, uh, let's go back just to measure this time in Forge. And also I want to show you something else in Forge, which will be another video now, which is the Turbo model. So Turbo models are fantastic, but it wasn't possible now to, to use those Turbo models in Automatic 11.11 because you are missing some so in specific samples, if it's also, the, for instance, this one Turbo Vision is a fantastic model. You can use a standard, standard samples but it's better to use those specific ones and i tend to get i did also some testing better results with with force rather than uh automatic 11 11 so i want just to show you this one just do the final to measure for the final time uh the generation time this one the same image so let's do it fast so Let's see what happened there. Bam, 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 bam. So I need to go Juggernaut and this number here. This was 20 and this was 8 and this was 1024. Uh, remember extensions, you go here, load and you are many. So that one was aspect ratio. Okay, load. So there are many extensions, so it's up to you. Well, I already have it. And okay, since that everything is okay, let's generate. So remember, first image tends to be a little bit slower or pro. Yeah, this one will be slower because I think it load there. But I already can see that it's faster than the others. I see the number of iterations is, is higher, but let's get the final time. So it will be about 20 something seconds. Okay, so 24 seconds, 25 seconds. So remember, first image, you sort of scratch that image when it comes now to measuring time and let's redo it. And this is recall what happened previously in Comfy UI that you wanted to regenerate it. And well, here now you can do it. So I like this. Can be good, can be bad, you know, but very much I like. So here we have the image and regenerating. Uh, as I mentioned, memory management is way much better here. No, this one. And let's see what happens this one. So 23, okay. And you start to, you keep doing, you will see that it will stay there 23, 21. So yeah, much faster. Uh, you have it there. Automatic 11, 11. This is a 50% improvement. You have it there. At uh, 17 seconds, it was the extreme speed in, in focus. Then the parameters that we optimized was 29. And then the 36 was Confi UI. I'm surprised Confi UI was much slower. So it was having problems with the 
record their application. Usually they get very similar performance. So this is it, okay? So I hope that now you have a, a better idea. You have the taste, it's fantastic. I strongly recommend Forge. However, do not do the transition, or probably for you it's just images, do the transition, okay? But if you are still using some other features, be careful not everything works. For instance, here I have Impaint Anything. I did a lot of videos about Impaint it, and this is fantastic. But I have the feeling that it's slower, I'm having some problems, but yeah. As time passes, this will get better. As you see, there is not much information there, but I'm quite sure that it will get at the same level of automatic element level. So just to end this one, I don't want to get too long. Uh, here it can be hours. Uh, it is uh, the Turbo model I want to show you. I want to use Turbo, Turbo, Turbo Vision, this one. So this is this model car that I have. So it recommends to use three to five, this level. So usually you put one, no negative prone. Two, you can use the negative prone. So let's put five steps there. I load my model. Let me go up to one. And what is fantastic about this is that now you can use high resolution images, 1024. So if you recall this standard, or if you have used the standard uh, SDXL Turbo model that was trained with 512. Now these new models or this improvement, you can do a 1024. So this is super flexible because now you can generate a new image very fast and then rely on scaling to get more details or to fix some, some stuff. So I need to talk about uh, scaling. There is a lot there. So let's see, five, 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 two, 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 one. And yeah, let me generate this using the Turbo model, and you will see that this is crazy, crazy fast. Seven seconds, and the quality is good, very good. Let's change then the second one. You saw that you keep generating, and, and it gets better, 7.6. And to show you a trick here, that is you right click, you have here, generate forever, and it will keep generating and generating the image. So every change that you do here, it will update it. And here you will be able to do real-time prompting, okay? So let's say, look at that, it's generating, generating, and it's about six seconds. So let's do something that I'm using this uh, sampler. Let's change to an actual sampler. I will have ancestral turbo, so it's specific for turbo models. So they tend to, to work better personal experience, but it will be up to you to generate a matrix compare, but personal experience, use the Turbo ones, they tend to to work better, but you can follow the advice from, from the people that designed that one. So you have it there, uh, doesn't seem too nice. So let me go for the SDE Turbo. Let's see what we get. And yeah, this is cool, nice. So probably proportions or here, the perspective is not so nice. But what I want to show you now that, for instance, you can go the real time. This is crazy, real time prompting. So you go the Mandalorian, uh, walkie in Paris during the night, fireworks. And everything that you keep putting there, you get it real time. So if you have very powerful GPU, this, I have seen this go on to one second, okay? It's crazy. Actually, if I reduce the image, so let me go. So this one, look, very nice. And let me put here random, and let me go and reduce this one. This dimension will work. So that one will be much faster. Probably will get in the order of four seconds. Okay, didn't, didn't speed up much. Let's see. Yeah, five seconds, you have it there. Very, very nice. So you can go, yeah, and start to write. So what I want to do here is that the Mandalorian and Darth Vader. Okay, let's see what, what it will do there. Well, it's not that bad put two there, but Let's say that they are taking a selfie. Ooh, <laughs> me get Darth Vader. Uh, selfie in Las Vegas. So sometimes, well, to be super safe, you can you can act here. 
negative no so this one and you avoid strange stuff remember is that you want to add negative prompts you need to increase this one to two so let me increase it to two and now it will take into account let me put the limit 2.5 and now we'll put that one i can put text and watermark so sometimes these models also can take a lot of watermarks but this is cool the hand here it's not nice and i will let it run until you let it run until you find the light, the right image. This is this is okay. You take that image and then do ox scaling, or you can do a new composition, out painting. It will be up to you. So this is what I wanted to show you. Later I will we will work a little bit more on other videos. Ah, this is cool. There you have the the cell phone. So let me stop here. To stop it, right click, cancel, generate. Ah, this is perfect. This is the one I was looking. You have it there, the perfect image. So now you can take this one. For instance, what I will do is that you take this one, you apply control net, then do latent space, uh, of scaling with some of mobile scaling, that new composition and so on, but super cool. So this is the stuff that you cannot do on automatic 11, 11 because you don't have this option, or you might be able to run using the DPM, no or sampler, but Believe me, the results will be much better here. Okay, so let me stop here. I think I have covered a lot for this in introduction to this new wet UI that is that is fantastic. It's optimizing all the memory. I'm quite happy. So this will be my substitute to Confi UI, but still I would use Confi UI for some stuff, principle for 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 upscaling. But still, I'm going to use Alcus to generate one shot image. But this one now. It's getting much, much, much better, but I'm not going to erase automatic 11. I still have it, and I still will use my three tools uh, workflow. So it depends in the mood that I am. That and so, okay. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, just let me know. Have in mind that I'm going to prepare more videos about this because I was preparing you know, a lot of videos about automatic 11, 11, and then last week, no, this week and last week, and I realized about this and. I have to throw away everything that I was doing automatic 11.11. Actually, I was criticizing a lot automatic 11.11 because it was kind of a slow, it requires a lot of user intervention to optimize the auction. So recall in particular that final auction that it got, got stalled there. So that is stuff I was kind of criticizing. But at this point, this forge interface is, is helping a lot. So thank you for your attention and uh, see you next time. Bye.